Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. Today I will be talking about the double calendar spread trade which I took last week. How much profit did I made out of that trade? What were the strike prices expiries? Did I do any adjustment? Also, I will be talking about this current week trade which I am currently in. So, what were the what are my current strike prices expiries? And also, I made one adjustment. So, I hope you will learn a lot from this video. Those who are new to my channel, let me give you a little introduction. I trade double calendar spread almost every week for 10% profit. And if you are also interested to make consistent weekly income in a safe way, do subscribe to my channel. And also I have put a playlist where you can learn this strategy in detail. I have covered all the fundamentals. So you can check out this playlist. I have put the link you can see on top of your screen. So do check out all the videos in that playlist. Also to motivate you guys, this is my 2022 profit calendar. So as you can see, I have made some good profit every month except this March one. Every month I'm making some good profit and June is good, doing so good. I have made 30% profit. So you guys know this whole 2022 was so volatile. The spy is going anywhere, somewhere time it is going up, down, anywhere it is going. And everyone is predicting different things. Some people say it is going, it will go up now. Some people say it, we are going into a recession. So it becomes so difficult for us to, you know, make some good profit in this environment. So these double calendars are giving me very, very good profit. So I will highly encourage you guys to do paper trading at least. And once you have confidence, you can try with real money and also check out all my videos. So I'm covering all these trades in my videos as well. Uh, in June, like May and June, I was on vacation. So I didn't make, you know, a video for every trade. But previous, all the trades are well documented on my YouTube. So you can check these also. For this week trade and now from going onward from now on i will again start making one video for every trade also if you want current you know my latest trades update you can follow me on instagram and twitter whenever i take any trade i post it there there itself so if you want very latest up trade updates you can follow me there so now let's start the video so on 16th of june 2022 i entered this double calendar spread Spy was moving around 3768, something like here. So I entered on 16th of June. Let me see what were the expiries I will choose. So as I told, it was 16th of June. So if you guys know my strategy, so if I'm entering anywhere between 13th to 17th, if I'm entering in this week, what I will go, I'll go three weeks far. So first, second, third. So I'll be selling 8th of July option and i will be buying 15th of july option again so if i'm so this was 16th of june i took this entry so i will be watching this trade so basically from 13th to 17th anywhere if i'm entering a trade i will go three weeks far so one two three so i'll be selling 8th of july expiry options and i will be buying further one week far so i'll be buying 15th of july options to make it a calendar now what will be my strike prices so first i will what i'll do whichever leg i'm selling so 8th of july i'm selling so i will check at the money straddle price of 8th of july expiry calendar like you know 8th of july expiry options so a uh, straddle is just call and put add the money add them together so that is your straddle price so it was around 22.5 or something like that and just to add extra cushion, I added five more points to that. So these will be my, you know, strike prices of the above and down. So 22.5 plus five will be like 27 ish points. So if you will do math, you will get 395 and 340, like to basically 27 point up and 27 point down. So these were things. Also, I was able to see there was some sort of, you know, resistance here at 390. So 395 felt a good point to put this up at downwards uh, just to make it symmetric. I have put at 340. So I entered on this day. Now going forward, first day spy fell down. Second day it went up. So basically you can see it was a, just a small U pattern. It didn't move much. If you will see VIX, actually VIX fell down in these days. So 16th of June I entered and the day I exited. 
it fell down. So usually people say when Wix is falling, you make a loss in calendars. But here, this my strategies are so well tuned. So we are making profit even when Wix is falling. And as you can see, Wix further fall till you know last trading day, which was twenty fourth of June. And here this day, I made twenty five percent profit and I exited because that is my strategy. But but if I have hold it till here, it it, it is in profit of thirty eight percent. So you can see like my strategy is working well. So I have you know putting strike prices so and expiries like that. So even if when Wix is falling, we are making profit. So this is just to motivate you guys. Now let's see how it performed on day to day basis. So as I said, you on sixteen of June I entered this trade. This was the three forty and three ninety five was the strike prices. So in total, it was one eighty five dollar for every double candle. On seventeenth of June, it was one seventy. So it was uh, like eight percent loss that day. So you, now what I did is I added more. So if I see five percent plus loss, like more than that. I add more, so my average went down to the one seventy seven on seventy third June. Now on twenty first of June, it recovered back, and this calendar was double calendar was at one ninety six. So in total, it, <coughs> we were in a profit of ten percent. And as you guys know, whenever I see ten percent profit, I exit the trade. So this was a very good trade. I made ten percent profit goal. So now let's talk about my uh, the next the current trade. Which I'm already in. So uh, on 22nd June, so basically just the next day, so I exited on 21st of June. So on 22nd June, I entered another trade. So as I said, so since I'm entering on 22nd of June, so let's see what will be the my expiry. So I'm entering on 22nd June. So I will, as I said, I will go three weeks far. So one, two, three. So I'll be selling 15th of July, and I will be buying 22nd of July options. So selling fifteenth of July and buying twenty second of July options. <clears throat> As I said, I will check the standard price of fifteenth of July expiry. So based on that, I chose three fifty. So it was around twenty. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it was below it. It was somewhere around twenty only. So just to give extra margin, I added five point more, so twenty five. So three seventy five plus twenty five will be three fifty and four hundred. So these two were my upper and lowers. Calendars. These were the prices. Three seventy five. I did bought that day, but later I bought it. That's why I have included here. So in total it was one sixty eight for this double candle. On June twenty third, the double candle was almost like very negligible profit, just point nine percent profit. On June twenty fourth, what I saw, spy has moved to three ninety. Now. Let me show you here. So I entered on this day. Let me move. Okay. So let I entered this day, and these are my strike here prices. So this is the second trade. So three nine, three seventy five. Uh, ignore these. Actually, this is four hundred and three seven. Anyway, so these are two, and I entered this, and now spy has already moved up. It is already at three ninety, and our this one is four hundred. So let me make it four hundred. Just to avoid confusion. So this is four hundred, okay. So now it is has already reached four hundred, and this was three fifty, three fifty, okay. So now, why I added more now? Like, since spy has moved, now what it can do? It can either go up or it can go down. If it will go up, we'll make further profit. So already we are in a four percent profit. If it will go up like to four hundred, we will be like further profit because this leg is now very strong, and this three fifty has become weak. So if you will see, this is fifty six and this four hundred is one twenty four point. So basically, this uh, is very uh, strong, and also there is good chances it will go back, go down because there is some sort of resistance here. So there is good chance it will fall. Once it will fall, this will make bigger loss than this will make profit, but this profit will be smaller than the loss it, this four hundred strike price calendar will make. So that is the reason I have made this three seventy five strike price calendar. Also, I have added. So it is there now triple calendar. So now what will happen if it goes up? It will be good enough because four hundred days again there is some sort of resistance. So it will good chances it will bounce back. But if it will fall, we will have three seventy five and three fifty two calendars 
so these two calendars will give us profit and the loss which we'll make from 400 this will over oh, like these two calendars will overcome this 400 dollar loss so basically will be profit in both the situations so that is the reason i added it if i i could have added it on the day of 22nd june itself but that day it was around 130 dollars so i saved some eight points on this so this is a very good strategy so first i wait for spy to take some direction and then i buy more. one catch in this strategy is it might be possible it will go up 400 and it will further go up then we will need to add one more calendar at 420 or somewhere like let's say suddenly tomorrow it goes at 410 suddenly let's say it's open at 410 then this will give you profit these two will give you big losses so basically my overall profit will be less i will be this four percent profit will hold down so that day i will see what is the expected move so basically i will check the standard prices and all again so based on that i will put one more calendar let's say at 4 30 or somewhere so basically then i will wait it has to bounce it has to bounce it can't go up, 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 up. you guys might know like we can't go directly just go up it has to bounce, bounce somewhere it can bounce back at 4 390 it can bounce back at 400 it can bounce back at 416 but it has to bounce back so i'll put uh, one more calendar let's say if it reaches 400 i will put one more calendar which is far than my expected this bounce there will be a bounce but it should be good enough that it doesn't overshoot that and also one more chance is there once it crosses this 400 we will be already reaching 10 percent if i will see 10 percent profit i will exit the trade then this all adjusting won't be needed so first thing i will be checking is let's say if it goes up it reaches around 400 or 410 if it is my whole whole like whole this triple calendar is in a profit of 10 percent there, there are chances so if it is 10 percent i will exit if not then i will do these adjustments so i hope you learned this and do follow me on twitter and instagram i will give you further updates if i am making anything to these trade and whenever i am exiting or i am buying any more calendar adding more calendar to this strategy this trade i will update you guys there so do follow me there a lot of people are not following me there they are following it's like checking my youtube videos but they are not uh, following me there but i will highly recommend you guys follow me there because there i am giving you latest updates okay so that's it for today i hope you learned a lot please like this video and also share with your friends actually one more thing i am seeing is people do stuff which their friends and you know family people are doing so they get motivated so i will highly increase if you will teach them if they might learn something they might do something which you are not doing so you will get motivated so i will highly encourage you guys share this videos with those who are doing options you know who are serious about making some you know good trades don't share with someone those who are just having fun in their life let them have the fun but do share this video with those people who are want to learn and make you know serious money so i will you will see the difference in yourself because then you guys can talk with them on one-to-one -one basis and then you guys can further discuss about these strategies and further tune as per your needs all and all, currently i am you know more than happy if you are you know some people are reaching me on instagram and twitter you can message me there i will try to respond to you as soon as possible if you have any doubts about this strategy i will help you guys many people charge you a lot for these track you know these things i'm giving you for free so if you watch my videos understand them if you have any questions you can post uh, your question in the comment below or you can directly message me on instagram or twitter i will try to respond to you as soon as possible okay thank you